range script loaded, you can now press, escape, select choose slot and pick your aircraft. You have chosen to start the mission in the air, please increase the propeller pitch lever up to cruise power. Use trim to level the aircraft, and navigate on a heading 187 degrees. Maintain 200 knots, and ascend to arrive at the next waypoint at 5000 feet altitude. Press spacebar once you have trimmed the aircraft. The Pucara can carry bombs on any and all of its three stations. The available bomb types are. Mark 81 of 250 pounds general purpose bomb. Mark 82 of 500 pounds general purpose bomb. Mark 82 Snake Eye, it's basically an Mark 82 with a retarding device, to allow its use on very low altitude bombing runs. For this training mission, we will practice dive bombing delivery, using Mark 81 GP bombs. We will not use the heavier Mark 82 in order to carry more bombs, so that you can do more attack runs if you want the added practice. We will use a weapons range that uses objects created by the 476th Virtual Fighter Group, and a weapons range script developed by the user Suribob, that will allow you to gauge your accuracy and monitor your progress. On this mission, you will have to drop your bombs onto the target circle located on the northern side of the range. Perform at least two series of passes over the target. One dropping pairs of bombs from the wing stations, and a second series dropping single bombs from the ventral station. Perform the passes on a west to east general direction, so that the mission logic can keep track of them. You can make as many passes as you want, while you still have bombs left. You can access the attack statistics at any time, by calling up the F10 option of the communications menu. The procedure for using the bombs, is as follows. 1. Master Arm Safety Switch. Set to its right position. With a right click, a green light above it illuminates. 2. Sight power. On. Right click the INT switch to its up position, to activate the weapon's sight. 3. Sight depression. Set. We don't have access to the bombing tables of the real aircraft, so you will have to practice a bit to find a value that goes well with your attack style. We suggest a value of 0, using a 30 to 40 degrees dive and a speed of 200 knots. 4. Weapon Selector Knob. Select the bomb's position. 5. Station Select. Select which pylon stations you want to enable. For this mission, let's start with the wing bombs first, so enable both the right and left station switches, to its up position. This version of the Pucara is not equipped with a weapons programmer, so it can't drop the bombs in ripples. Instead, each press of the flight stick's weapon release button drops a single bomb from each selected pylon. You must release and press repeatedly if you want to drop more.
we have reached waypoint 2. Turn left to enter the weapons range on a easterly heading. The bomb target circle is at the northern side of the range, pointed by a long arrow. Don't head directly to the target, or the nose of your aircraft will hide it. Instead, fly to a heading just to the right or left of the target, such that you can barely see the target looking towards the side of the nose. Keep an altitude of at least 7,000 feet. Once the target is near the point where the canopy frame joins with the fuselage, it is time to begin our dive towards the target. Roll the aircraft until almost inverted, reduce throttle, and pull on the stick to dive. Keep the target in sight and reverse the roll once it's in front of you. Wait until the sight center dot is over the target, then press the stick's weapon release button to drop the bombs. Each press drops a single bomb from each selected station. Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up. Increase throttle. First pass. Turn right 180 degrees towards a westerly heading, climb, and perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 7,000 feet, before attempting another pass. Second pass. Turn back 180 degrees towards a west heading to perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 7,000 feet before attempting another pass.
you should by now have your wing stations empty. Adjust the station select switches, off for the left and right wing stations, and on for the ventral one. Good pass. If you still have bombs, turn back 180 degrees, and do another pass. Else, return to our base on heading 045 degrees. Good pass. If you still have bombs, turn back 180 degrees, and do another pass. Else, return to our base on heading 045 degrees. The heading towards Rio Gallegos Air Base is approximately 045 degrees. 
cruise at 5,000 feet and at a speed of 200 knots, to have enough time to explain the weapon's disarm and jettison procedures. You can check your range results, by calling up the communications menu. Select F10, Other, then select F2, Range. Finally, click F3, My Bombing Results. Deactivate the armament, with this procedure. 1. Master Arm Safety Switch. Set to its left position. The green light goes out. 2. Gun Sight Power. Set to off. Left click the ANT switch to its down position, to deactivate the gun sight. 3. Weapon Selector Knob. Turn to the no position, where no weapon is selected. You have completed the dive bombing practice at the range. Please select. Press spacebar, if you want to continue the mission and practice the navigation back to base and land there. Press backspace, if you prefer to end the mission now. Congratulations, you have learned and practiced the dive bombing attack procedure on the Pukara. The mission has been successfully completed. Press spacebar to exit.